Hey kids, I'm Susan Cottrell. I'm a Christian mom of five kids, two of whom identify as queer. Coming out to your parents can be a real risk. You put everything on the line and you don't know what will happen. Will they come alongside me or will they disown me? My suggestion is hope for the best, but prepare for the worst. Step one, take care of you. Make a plan. If you're in a position of risk, if you're still living at home, or if your parents are paying for your college, then you need to weigh that out carefully. It can be soul crushing to wait till you're beyond your parents' support before you come out. But that might be the safest thing to do. You have to decide when the time is right. When you do come out, have a plan of what you'll do if things go bad. You could have someone with you, or have someone on call, or go to a public place. Over the years, I've helped a lot of young people come out to their parents. Here's how some of them did it. One woman put campus security on speed dial before she came out to her parents in her dorm room. One teen was used to his parents throwing Bible verses at him. So his grandmother went with him to come out to his parents. They did go ballistic. So his grandmother took him then and there to go live with her. They grabbed the bag they had packed. What would you put in that bag? Anything you'd want to have if you were suddenly displaced. Your devices, any paperwork that would be hard to replace, like your birth certificate, driver's license, social security card, cash. I don't want to scare you, just better safe than sorry. Better to laugh about having a bag you don't need than cry about needing a bag you don't have. Step two, take care of your family. First, give them time, because here's the deal. They have not gone through all the preparation that you have. Their heads may be spinning. They're just hearing the words that the culture and the church has ingrained into them. If you can stay calm, even if they're not, it will help you and them. I talk to a lot of parents, and when they learn their kids took steps to protect themselves, it breaks their heart. They may be devastated that you carried this around alone for so long. If that's the case, tell them you're all good, all is well. They have nothing to regret. They didn't cause this all is well. And you do need them to be there for you and love you now that you've come out. Secondly, be ready to answer their basic questions like, are you sure? How do you know? But you dated so-and-so. Again, this is all new to them. Answering these questions is a gift, by the way, not an obligation. You don't have to answer anything you don't want to. Assure them that you can always talk again after they've worked through the resources. If you need help finding things, go to freedhearts.org resources page for lots of things you can share with them. All of this only holds as long as they're respectful. Don't take abuse. If they get abusive, go into that plan that you made. On the other hand, they may not be ready to talk. You may have to wait. That's fair. Step three, recognize that your parents' response reveals them, not you. In other words, if they say terrible things to you, that's because that's in their worldview, not because you deserve it. When affirming pastor Tony Campolo was a college chaplain, a student came to him crying, terrified because someone had threatened to out her to her parents. She was sure they'd disown her. So Tony called her parents right then and there. He said, I've got your daughter in my office. Her dad said, my daughter, she's a great girl, great student, kind, loving. Tony said, that's right. And in a moment, we're going to find out if you're worthy of her. Because you see, the dad's response to her coming out reveals him, not her. And finally, step four. Remember the truth about you. No matter how your family reacts, they do love you. They just may be so clouded with fear that they've lost sight of that. But it's still true. I don't know what your mom or dad will say but I'll tell you what this mom says. You're worthy. You belong. You matter. You deserve to love and to be loved as you are for who you are. That's the truth. <laughs>